We're here at the Genesis stand at the New York Auto Show, and I'm here with uh, Luke Donkovolka, who's uh, Genesis designer. Um, and this is this is your new concept car, Luke. Yes. It's a uh, it's a beautiful machine. Thank you. So um, you have an interesting challenge in your new role because you're designing for a brand, like a, a new brand. So that I guess means you get to come up with kind of you, you can set the, the tone for it and come up with a new design language. Yeah, it's a great challenge because you, you get to enjoy the fact that you're not designing a product mm -hmm. um, that is basically trying to find its position between the old ones and the future one. But we are basically designing through an object the, the conceiving the DNA of the future. Mm -hmm. So you are basically looking and, and uh, with such a uh, high responsibility the, the impact that you're going to have on the future uh, elements. So you, um, everything I do, every move I do has to consider how I'm going to have this DNA evolving in the future. So, so you have the freedom to come up with something fresh, but you also have the responsibility of not boxing yourself into a corner? Exactly. And at the same time, I don't have the ballast of having a long tradition. Right. So I have a big advantage, but at the same time, that brings me a higher responsibility for the future. Right. What went into well, coming up with this? I think, I think uh, by you know, the, your gesture, your body language is already showing what's important in the car. Mm -hmm. um, when you design for a new brand, the first thing you have to look into is architecture and proportions. Styling comes afterwards. Right. Um, because if you get the right let's say proportions in architecture, you have to do less styling, right. less, less makeup. So, um, you know, this has led us into trying to, first of all, emphasize the dash to axle or kind of rear wheel drive oriented platform. Mm -hmm. it, this is a four wheel drive, but even, right. you know, basically derived from our sedans. Same architecture, so short so overhang. So like a cab, cab backwards? Exactly. Short over front overhang, long, long uh, dash to axle, long bonnet, uh, especially emphasized by the fact that we're having a grill which is standing quite upright. Right. Um, so that is already giving us uh, the good start. Then we have a quite long wheelbase to get the ergonomical comfort, but that is also leading from the from the grill into a catwalk, which flows quite elegantly and dynamically into the into the roof. The, the styling here is fantastic. I, I assume some of this probably won't make it to production. Well, you will be surprised because uh, we we really at Genesis, as we have the responsibility of this new brand, mm -hmm. don't want to do show business and disappoint. We don't want to do entertainment and then we have the production studio which has to do, let's say, the, the boring work. Right. So the people that have designed, the team that has designed this, has worked and designed the, the, the production version which we designed for us. Right. So we are making sure that if there is no two directions, so the, the, the content, the design content, the DNA of the production car is here. Obviously there are some elements which are here emphasized as what we, we call, let's say, the, the show car drama. Right. But maybe the wheels? I mean, these wheels are fantastic. Well, actually, or, or uh, the G Matrix wheel is actually going to make it into it? production. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, I mean, this is actually a work that we did together in production. We like that because we want a pattern which is technical, yet give us um, lightness, give us structure, and give us cooling for the brakes. Right. And then uh, this led us into using that pattern somewhere else on, on the, the pillars. The pillars. I mean, as, you know, I mean, you pointed it right. What happens in a, in a production car? The safety cell mm -hmm. needs to be always stronger. Right. Pillars get thicker, and you end up in a, in a claustrophobic environment. So we're trying to liberate this by having light coming. You notice that the light is coming down. Why? That it's not. We could have perforated them horizontally or on the other angle, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure that the light is not a direct light. It's a diffuse light. Right. And so you see what happens in the environment. Even if we have the structure, we have basically the light basically breaking up. The, the, the safety cage you right. are in. And uh, this is uh, something we want to work. So um, the, the, the elements that are basically still kind of like show car related, we are trying to minimize into the maximum. Got, got it. So are there any special considerations um, with regards to alternative powertrains, you know, and that, and that kind of thing? Well, uh, you know, what's happening in the, in the world is basically bringing us to consider environmentally friendly uh, solutions and definitely, I mean, Hyundai, the, the basically part of the Hyundai Motor Group like Genesis, has been a pioneer in bringing fuel cell technology in production. And basically we are using this in this concept to, to see what is actually the, the right answer. Because right. there is not one answer for the future. Obviously there is full electric, there is the plug-in hybrid, and here we are, we are working in playing with the, the fuel cell as a range extender for an electric power. So it's actually making the electric car even more 
environmentally right. uh, respectful. Do you have a favorite detail about the car? Well, actually, it's the details that have been the consequence of our approach, mm -hmm. like, for instance, the, the, the research, the search for the best proportions. As if we look at the, the best proportion, you have to divide them less or use less makeup to, mm -hmm. to mask those proportions. And this is why, by working on those proportions, short overhang bonnet, which is quite low, quite tight, and also divided in volume, we don't have a big mass on front overhang to mine. Right. So we, we decide to work on quad lamp which is going to be uh, something we will be seeing in the future Genesis. Uh, so it's uh, stripes of technological projectors, uh, also hinting a bit at the future. What's going to happen in the future? When you think about ADAS, all the, the, the assistance that we have, in the foreseeable future, we won't need to project light on the surface right. to see because the car will scan the environment first. So I'm sure that the face of the cars is going to evolve and we are actually hinting at this evolution, a bit of a Darwinistic approach of uh, reducing the relevance of an organ that is not needed. Right, um, which in this case would be the headlights. Exactly, headlights. So, so you see in, in this case they still work, they still, they still are efficient as light and we are using the or partnership with the high technological companies and this is, this is a great advantage of being Korea where technology is a, a driver of the country. So we are using this and you see it's, it's in the front, mm -hmm. it's also in the rear, it's also a bit what we call the layered or technical concept that you even see in the booth with all those stripes. Yep. Um, it is, it is a, a kind of a consistent approach we are using for the brand. Click, thank you so much. Thank you, with pleasure. Thanks.